because now I'm a freelancer and I'm always open to new technologies and my recent customer now is trying out SAP HANA, uh, which is very hype now. <laughs> okay. Um, so I said to myself, okay, let me check it out. I always interested in new, in, in other technologies if, if they are um, as good as Apex or Oracle. So I'm not bound to Oracle anymore. And I paid a lot of money to, a, uh, to SAP. So at least 7,000 euros. I did a lot of training there with very good trainings uh, of SAP HANA, the database itself, and the framework, this application framework called SAP UI5, which is actually something like XJS. It's a huge JavaScript framework. So the same approach, they actually thought about to use XJS by themselves, but now they finally decided, okay, we do our own. Okay. And I was on this, on my last training on SAP UI5 of one week. Um, I ended up, uh, in the third day, we, 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 we we wrote this complicated JavaScript stuff after this, after you have the tenth curly braces open and define anonymous functions. Nobody understood what they're actually doing anymore. So they tried to run a function in the declaration. So no, they all got lost. Everybody got lost. And I was pretty good with, with, with JavaScript back then, and I still am, still are, and I really still understood what, what I'm doing here, but make basically nobody else did. And then I had a simple, uh, something didn't work. 20 lines of, 20 lines of JavaScript code, a lot of curly, curly braces and JSON and configuration objects, and I had the trainer, the trainer was very, very good. And a support guy right next to me, and we look, we looked, I guess, 15 minutes onto these 20 lines of JavaScript code, and um, nobody could find the error. 15 what were minutes. you trying to do with it? I don't know. I want to get it to run. I didn't get an, an error message, nothing. You don't get anything. It does, just doesn't work. You have no debugging uh, capabilities. It didn't work. So 20, 20 lines of JavaScript code, you should figure it out. No, after 15 minutes, I said, okay, this is it, guy. And I stopped doing the, um, the, um, the rehearsals, the, um, the, 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 the trainings, and I only listened to the, to the teacher. And people asked me, hey, why, why don't you go, go, go ahead? Um, you're, you're the only guy who actually understands this stuff. I said, yeah, because, I will never do this in my whole life. I have a, I have a program, uh, a programming language. I have a, um, a, a programming um, framework. I can do everything at least 10 times faster, at least 10 times more flexible and more cost efficient. And then I showed these guys Apex. Wow. They, they, they got blown off. It was like showing somebody, somebody an iPhone 6S 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is this guy doing? <laughs> and yeah, and so the same goes uh, for, for the database. It's a very young database, and now I have actually experience with uh, 12C and the in memory technology. Overall, the you're comparing HANA as a very young database. Yes, HANA is a very young database with a lot of problems. And every time you do select star, everybody starts to sweat because you have to select all the different tables, column-based tables, and um, it's a nightmare to work with with that. But it's I got an offer from a from a project, and they they wanted to pay me twice my rate. Oh wow! Yeah, and I know when when you start this project, it will give me at least 10 times more revenue because you will never finish this. <laughs> so so the, the lack of productivity actually helps you make yeah. more money. Is that yeah. what you're saying? <laughs> but then, then I really had to decide what, what am I going to do? Do I, do I take this offer on a lot of money? 
but always know I'm actually betraying the customer. Yeah, because you can go faster in Apex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided, okay, this is it. I stopped uh, investing more in HANA and, and sub UI 5 so um, I dismissed this, this project opportunity and I decided, okay, I go 100% with Apex because I tried every other, I tried Shape, Java and, and um, uh, other pr programming approaches too, so Apex it is. And now I'm, I'm investing all my time in Apex and I didn't know anybody, I, I know 20 people who also tried to get into sub UI 5 and, and HANA, but nobody's doing it anymore. And this is, and also the, and recently we had um, um, an internal workshop with Harald Wolf. He's a very good DBA guy and uh, he's very um, deep into this uh, in memory stuff. It's something in, with, within two hours, you get this thing set up and I only had, I don't know, 10 gigabytes of memory in memory. Yeah. And I, it was so easy to figure out some tables. I only put the tables into memory additionally. And my Apex application ended up three times faster. Wow. This after two hours. And my, the other guys who had shops running for hours, they were finished in seconds. Wow. So, and, and that's just using the uh, in-memory feature in 12C? Yeah. It's, it's really great. It's one of the features I really say thumbs up. It's so great. And it's so easy to use compared to this HANA stuff. Overall, Oracle is so much more ahead right now. But when you listen to the press... <laughs> uh, yeah. Especially if you're in Germany, I guess. <laughs> especially in Germany, especially in Germany, right? So, no, don't, don't do HANA. So Oracle is still the best thing I can do. And you can do it when you really want to do cost efficient and fast application building. And Apex is not only a no cost option anymore of the database. Actually, it is the tool, the reason why you want to buy Oracle database. Because now we have this real competition here, and especially in Germany, uh, of uh, SAP, HANA, and, and, and Oracle. but um, at the end, you want to do applications with the database. And it turned out that uh, in memory access, in HANA and Oracle is exactly the same, the same, the, uh, the same performance. Same performance, okay. You gain, you gain exactly the same performance, but with Oracle, it's 10 times easier and more cost efficient. You don't have to buy complicated, uh, very expensive special appliances, and you can. You don't have to buy a very uh, expensive appliance to even um, set up the database. It's enough to say, okay, let's spend ten gigabytes of in memory, and put some of the tables which are which are relevant into the me in, in, into memory without changing anything of your source code, business logic, or anything. So without changing application logic, without yes. investing in special hardware, you yes. get the same yes. performance and it's easier to maintain and easier to develop with. Yeah, and it's very cost efficient, right? So, hmm. so when you put it like that, it, make, it makes you wonder why anybody chooses otherwise. <laughs> well, it's, it's all politics. Yeah. It's all politics. On a, on a certain level, people are, don't listen anymore to reasonable um, arguments. Yeah. IT is mathematics. At the end, you can prove it. And this is why I prob probably I like this, this subject because it's nothing philosophical. It's real, real stuff. You can prove it. Is it right or is it wrong? Yeah. Just try it. And I tried it and I paid a lot of money and I really try by myself to, to learn this technology. Not, I'm not the guy who decide by um, PowerPoint, right? I really got, want to get my hands on these technologies and try to compare it. And all I can say, 
everybody else is still 20 years behind. Everybody else. I tried so many different stuff, but Oracle and Apex, perfect, perfect combination. And I'm stick with it. Excellent. Thanks, Jurgen. Super Thanks. appreciate your time. Thanks.